Right here we got Will, West Coast Powerlifting God, about to blow up some heavy deadlifts right here. Let's check out the reps, let's check out the intensity and see where it goes. Will has just finished his fourth week, currently in a strength block, preparing for a powerlifting competition over the course of 15 weeks. Welcome to HarvestingStrength.com. Currently, we are looking at a case study to see the growth and development of Will's performance. Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome to HarvestingStrength.com. Uh, right here we're going to talk about is uh, Will. He is currently in a 15-week program. Uh, you know, just, you know, sometimes how timing works out with the calendar and stuff like that performance. But uh, we're working on, you know, his upcoming powerlift to meet. And uh, we're really trying to elevate his performance with the squat, bench, and deadlift. Um, something you'll notice in the video is we're going to showcase to you guys as training goes on. Uh, different phases and uh, parts of the uh, workouts he's uh, he's in. Right now he's in pretty much like a strength acquisition phase. I'm sure that sounds incorrect or it sounds goofy when uh when you hear it, but basically what we're talking about in this phase is just acquiring strength. So we're not really trying to employ power per se. We're just really working on not only uh you know just where he's good at, but where his weaknesses are. So. Whenever I first met uh, Will, you know, we were doing some training before, but then he found this meet and he wanted to get into it. Uh, but when I was looking at, you know, how to work towards his performance, I thought to myself, um, you know, where is he lacking right now? Please stop. Where is he lacking right now? And uh, where can he improve? And uh, what are some areas that we can kind of just fine tune real quick? So when we do employ power and we do uh, explosiveness that he's in the best uh, place physically to perform in that sense. So pretty much we're talking about like the prerequisite skills and uh, in regards to strength. So some of the things you'll see in this video is obviously he's doing, you know, squat, bench, and deadlift. We were working on triples and I was doing five sets of three just to, um, you know, build up the stamina and to kind of just uh, build up some mental expectations for him to uh, elevate his performance. So, you know, the first uh, week was five by three. The next week was five by three. The third week was three by three. And then the last week was two by three. And hoping that by that, you know, the second set of the third reps, he'll, uh, he'll hit PRs on his uh, squat bench and deadlift. So... You know, the first couple weeks, five times three, we kept the weight the same. And uh, one of the things I remember messaging with him was, you know, man, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm getting, I'm already getting tired from just the first exercise of the day. So every day we trained, we trained for four days a week. Um, we picked six exercises and I picked six exercises that I thought were best for his strengths, his weaknesses, and just to, like I said, prep his body for him to go into a peaking phase uh, later on within his training. So some of the things you'll see are, you know, squat bench deadlift. Uh, you'll see band resisted squat bench and deadlift. We did those for uh, three sets of three afterwards or three sets of two, I'll have to look back. But we worked the bands just to help with his transitional strength. So as the weight was ascending or whatever, wherever you're looking at it on the lift, uh, he was working to uh, improve uh, you know, finishing the movement uh, after being fatigued from the first exercises. And then the third exercise, we, we got real creative on certain things. So something you'll see on uh, the squat day uh, are things like uh, the dead squat. Um, we also did uh, dead good mornings um, to really just help with his posture and, uh, you know, being able to finish with uh, stronger hips um, to readjust when the weight and the technique got a little, uh, out of hand per se, uh, on deadlift, we did, uh, 
you know, the deadlifts, the band resisted deadlifts, and then uh, deadlift hyperextensions. I really love these. And uh, those are really great for lockout strength as when you're doing the lockout on the deadlift hyperextension, when you're doing that uh, at the top of the movement, you still have resistance against your hips since you're at an incline. So think about your hips being here and you're lifting the weight up. Instead of you standing tall on a deadlift where there's no resistance against your hips, uh, being at that incline and then pushing right here where he is at an incline, his hips are having to stay engaged. And then I'll tell the person, or in this case, Will, whenever he's doing the deadlift hyperextensions, that when he does come up to squeeze his butt so that uh, his hips are truly engaged in that sense. And then um, on bench, we did, you know, the bench, uh, band resisted bench uh, and dead bench too, just to, uh, you know, work on those strength deficits. So again, check out the footage. Uh, the hope is to, you know, showcase his starting point and then showcase some of the, the things he's doing for power and explosiveness and then how he finishes to peak. And then hopefully by the last video, we can actually see him and how he performs uh, at his meet and what numbers he does get. So let's look at the footage and let's check it out. All right, so we're going back to where we started earlier. We're looking at the heavy deadlift set. We started off with five sets of three on week one, building up to two sets of three. His heaviest set being on the third or the second set. So we're going for three reps. We're really trying to just see where he is with the strength and, the, and then to utilize those values and percentages for loads later on in training. So again, the focus on this block of strength was just four weeks, intense strength, nothing else, uh, power involved, just really trying to learn how to fight through and uh, improve barbell performance with that focus. Now, after this, we have band resisted deadlift. Uh, we did a lot of band stuff for the second set, just learning how when we have fatigued, set, or whenever we are fatigued, how to fight through that and to improve our transitional strength throughout the movement. And then we have deadlift hyperextensions. I really love this. I really wanted to improve his ability to lock out the weight and uh, have stronger hips. That tends to be the biggest issue for squat and deadlift whenever we get to lock out. It has to do with the hips not being able to apply that horizontal resistance uh, to finish the movement. Now, when we focused on the squat, um, we wanted to really promote movements again, just to help with him just fighting through these reps and to gain the overall lower body strength. Right here, you see his reps really turning out well, but then on that second rep, possibly on this last one, when he ascends with the weight, you start to see the bar kind of come down a little bit and it looks like he's bowing with it. So I really wanted to, again, use the bands to help, or well, not the bands on this one, this is the dead squat, but I wanted to use the dead squat so that we can talk about uh, losing that bottom strength, uh, that bottom elastic uh, stretch, um, and then having to fight through it, especially with having gone through fatigue and then here I slowed down the uh, video just so you can see more, more of it. But the bands, again, are just trying to help teach this person how to fight through when fatigue has set in and then just to be better about that transitional strength. And when I say, when I say transitional strength, I'm talking about going from the bottom of the lift to the top of the lift and finishing strong. Right here we have dead good mornings, letting it rest on the the safety uh, straps right here and just having to work on that bowing motion. So since he does bow with the bar, we're gonna really try to work on his lower, uh, lower back strength just so he stays erect with the movement and he puts himself in a better position with leverage to uh, finish his squats stronger uh, than he was before. Uh, just right here, we're going for about, I believe five to six reps. Just trying to review and make sure I have that number correct. Now on bench, um, heavy bench, trying to, again, get that heaviest triple so we can use these percentages for later uh, and to know how to prescribe uh, certain loads for certain movements uh, and all those things included. So when you watch his bench, he isn't really tremendously explosive off the chest. So I really wanted to fix that with a couple things. I think one of them was gonna be the bands that you'll see in a second. <coughs> and then the dead bench too just because with the bands, it's lighter at the bottom and then he can fight through, yes. And then as he gets to the top of the lift, he learns to lock out better. And then when dead bench comes up in a little bit, it's just kind of like the dead squat where you lose that bottom elastic uh, 
stretch from a normal bench and you have to lift dead weight just to overcome the movement. And I like to do dead bench from about an inch or two off the chest just uh, to be a little bit safer with the shoulders, but then also just to pinpoint some weaker areas. I feel like most people can probably get it off their chest maybe an inch or two, but then you see that real big gap in strength and that's where the transitional strength starts to lack. So again, these are all the movements we discussed. These are all the strength components we were getting into uh, in order to improve his ability with the barbell uh, when it came to powerlifting prep. <clears throat> in the next part, you'll see him starting to show more uh, power movements and really growing in his ability. Uh, you know, so feel free to check out my website for more content and more information, harvestingstrength.com. Currently selling my ebook, Bench Press Bully, $3.99. Give it a chance, give it a look at the shop. And thanks for your support. Hope to hear from you guys soon.